What's going on guys? Riley here from RP Productions and today we're getting ready for a massive car show happening tomorrow in Sealy, Texas called Lone Star Mopar Fest, which there will be plenty of videos of that event here on the RP Productions YouTube channel. But today we are preparing for that, so I'm about to spend probably six hours detailing my car. I'm doing some last minute uh, upgrades, I guess you could say, to the engine bay and a few other places here and there. In this box I have with me is uh, some dress up stuff, we'll say, from JLT Performance. Uh, you might know of them for their cold air intakes. Well, they also do under hood dress up kits for uh, a bunch of Dodges and Fords, and I'm not sure if they do anything else, but I know they do a lot of Mustang stuff and um, Dodge stuff. Before I continue to just babble on, let's go ahead, see what's in the box, and uh, we'll go from there. So I haven't seen these yet. Let's go ahead and uh, dig in, I guess. That's pretty. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you some beautiful half covers done by JLT Performance. Man, they did an absolute fantastic job on this. These colors are so vivid and bright. Oh man, this is gonna look so good in the car. I'm very excited. Let's go ahead and keep unboxing. Here we go with half cover number two. Here we are with the plum crazy purple fuse box cover. And finally we have a radiator tank coolant overflow cover with a scat pack B painted right here over here on the side. Man, this purple is just like spot on match. I'll go ahead and place it next to the car here in a second, but man, they, it, <laughs> I'm at a loss for words. This is sweet. So here they are all next to each other. That's what they all look like before they go in the car. I am super excited about this. Let's go ahead and purple bomb the scat pack. Well, to start this off, the first thing I have to do is remove the existing coil covers off of the car, which is pretty easy. They just pop right out. One down. And two down. Now before I continue any further, I'm going to take this opportunity to clean up some of the spots that are more easily accessible now that the half covers are off. I'm basically just using some Adams Waterless Wash. This is my go-to when it comes to cleaning the interior, or interior of my engine bay, I guess you would call it. Um, I really don't like the whole spraying water in your engine bay to clean it idea. I just pretty much spray some of that on a towel, wipe over everything, and uh, seems to work pretty good. In the car overall I'm extremely satisfied with the JLT products and really satisfied with how they package them for shipping super super great finish I mean that's like a perfect match pretty much the only thing I do not like is that built technology their purple is a little bit blue so they don't match the correct colors as you see so I don't know what I'm gonna do about the built technology parts I may end up trying to trade with somebody if they have a full set of like black or something that might uh, go better with the 
engine bay here. But overall, the JLT parts are freaking awesome. Those coil covers, man, those really stand out. I'm super excited to show these off tomorrow at Lone Star Mopar Fest. So if you're watching this when the day it's posted, then hopefully you guys can make it out and I will see you there. Um, but I think that this will definitely turn some heads when I have the hood popped and they'll be like, ooh, wow, that looks nice. So uh, we'll see tomorrow. It might be able, might be able to uh, trade out the purple caps for some black ones tomorrow. We'll just have to wait and see. Uh, or let me know in the comments if you guys like it like this. But overall, great job, JLT. One quick side note for all of you Hemi owners out there. You may notice that your part of your engine block here does not look this clean. That is because I took some 2000 grit sandpaper, thanks to a fellow YouTuber that goes by the name of SRT Mush. His link will be in the description below. This was all his idea. He basically was like, Riley, check this out. And he made a video showing me how to do that. And I was like, wow, that's great. So here's a before picture. And here's what it looks like after. Now here's a before picture and here's what it looks like after. So the throttle body was definitely a lot harder to get to, but like I said, you just take some 2000 grit sandpaper or 1500 grit, whatever you want, and you pretty much just rub it on there, and then you'll go back with a towel um, that just has like, I use waterless wash, and then you go over it, and uh, that'll kind of clear up your finish. I guess, I don't know, these parts are made in Canada. Could have something to do with them sitting outside. I don't really know, but I just know that all Hemis look pretty crappy when you look at that metal. It just looks bleh. So hopefully this quick little sandpaper mod will help you guys out cleaning up your engine bay, making it look a little bit nicer in there. And once again, to clean my engine bay, all I use is some Adams Polish's waterless wash. Um, I don't think it's the cleanest engine bay on the planet, but it is up there. I think that it does look pretty nice. And uh, yeah. And to add to that, to clean your engine bay, it's not something you do once every six months. It's something that you have to upkeep with. I clean mine uh, pretty regularly. I don't have like a set schedule, but whenever it starts to build up just a little bit of stuff, I will go in and clean the whole thing. That way, uh, just periodic cleans are a lot easier than one massive clean once a year. So in conclusion, once again, huge shout out to JLT Performance for coming in super clutch with these covers one day before my massive car show. That was awesome of you guys to overnight ship these to me. I really appreciate that. So definitely guys, go check them out. They can do these in pretty much any color or whatever. I mean, there's so many options. There's endless possibilities for customization with these. So definitely go check out the link in the description if you want to learn more about them and check them out on their website. But overall, that's my video for today. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.